I think John W. Henry's quote about what they've been smoking at the Emirates uh, in some ways could be a kind of subtitle for the transfer window. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of time to go for Arsenal, but this was the one that was supposed to be the big transfer window that presented the new face of Arsenal. In some ways, with a couple of weeks to go, uh, more or less until the season starts, and Yaya Sonogo, the only uh, incoming transfer, you can smell the tension around the club. Uh, and it's, it's a complicated one for us because in many ways they set themselves up. With Ivan Gazidis coming out uh, fairly soon after the season had ended and making no bones about the fact that Arsenal were were going to spend big, they wanted to spend big, they could spend big if they felt the need, they were ready to match anything anywhere in the world. This was the moment they'd been waiting for. On the back of that, if something fairly substantial doesn't happen, then it looks like they've set themselves up for, you know, for quite a, a fall in terms of uh, their public image and in terms of relations with, with the supporters. Jack Wilshire, in particular, having a full pre-season behind him and, and being ready to actually, in theory, have a, an injury-free season ahead of him is exciting. Um, their Arsenal, surprisingly enough, had a, a solid-ish defence uh, last season, which is something to build on. They had a good end to the season to overtake Spurs and finish in the top four. They shared the goals around last year with Cazorla and Walcott improving massively in that part of things. So. There are positives. If Arsenal could find the extra pieces of the jigsaw, then I think they'd be in a good position to really push on, but that's the, that's the mission. The other enormous factor that's looming for Arsenal is the manager, and Arsene Wenger goes into his final year of his contract, uh, which is usually a fairly complex situation, and I think it's fair to say that come September the 1st, uh, once the window finally shuts, that straight away probably the speculation will immediately transmit itself so there's lots of fun to look forward to there where I'm sure every press conference Arsenal will be asked about his future, every defeat or uh, something that goes wrong it will be linked with the fact that you know he may not be around for too much longer so I don't think it's the healthiest backdrop when you've got a manager in there last year of a contract. Um, whether it means that some of his traditional caution um, gets thrown to the wind because he feels like, you know, like a last great splurge. Who knows? Whether he signs a new contract, that's also a possibility. Um, but it's definitely something that's going to hang over Arsenal until it's decided one way or the other.